Hey guys, thanks for tuning back into my channel. So with Valentine's Day right around the corner, I thought this would be the perfect time for a DIY project. So let's have a little fun and channel our inner Peggy Bundy with these DIY faux feather sandals with me, Christmas. So you'll need some scissors, some fabric glue, and some faux feathers. If you have some strappy sandals around the house, that's perfect, but if not, you can definitely find some online for under 20 bucks. So my feathers had a little string at the end, so I clipped that off and then I just fluffed it up a little bit so I can see what part of the feathers I wanted to use for the front of my sandal. So start to measure and start to really pick what part of your feathers you want to use. Um, for mine, certain parts were fluffier than others, so I went with that and I just trimmed and fluffed and trimmed and fluffed until I found the perfect part for me. So when you're measuring your feathers, leave a little excess. Um, once we glue, we'll be able to trim anything else that we feel that we don't need. So it's better to have a little more than not to have enough on there. So now for the fun part, it's time to glue our feathers down. So this glue that I bought is called E6000. It's a fabric um, adhesive and I got it from Amazon for less than $8. And it's a huge tube, so I'll probably be able to do a bunch of projects with this. Um, what I really liked about this glue is that it was really easy to use. It wasn't um, really getting everywhere. It didn't dry too quickly and it was perfect for this project. So the really great part about the glue not drying so quickly is that you have time and you don't really have to rush. So take your time and glue as much as that front strap as you possibly can. And don't worry if you don't get it all, you'll be able to go back and touch it up at the end. But get your feathers that you cut, that you measured before, and start to place it onto your front strap. Slowly make sure that you're, you know, going from the beginning all the way to the end, and then just start to press it down very lightly. And this glue is really amazing. Like, you don't even have to press it down really hard for it to stick. It, like, grabs immediately. So don't worry about these little excess pieces on the side because that's what we have our scissors for. Grab your scissors and just trim it right on off. So once you start cutting these big excess pieces off, you can go ahead and start trimming um, your feathers as you see fit and kind of start giving them the shape that you want. So trim, 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 trim. Um, this is the part where you get your little Edward scissor hands on. Oh, and here's the freckle cam. I literally don't even realize how many freckles I have until I see them on camera. It's crazy. Okay, so we're pretty much done with the front of our sandal. That was easy, right? Now the ankle strap is a little bit more complicated, but it's really not that bad. So what you want to do here is measure your faux feathers from the buckle of your shoe all the way to the other side where the holes are. And you don't want to cover any of the holes, so you want to go right about to that first hole because if you cover it, it'll be impossible to strap your shoes on. And what I kind of found out is if you leave a little bit excess, maybe covering that first hole, once you do secure your ankle strap around, it kind of makes it look like the feathers are covering the whole ankle. And that's if you don't want your buckle to show. So again, when you're cutting your feathers for this part, leave a little bit excess and you can go ahead at the end and trim what you need. So again, this glue is amazing. You do not have to rush, so really take your time on this part and be really precise about where you get the glue. I made a little mess on the back of my shoe and it actually just came off with a hot washcloth, so if you do get some around, it's okay, it'll come right off. If it's easier for you, you can also glue this part in sections. So you would glue the beginning, you know, put your faux feathers and then keep gluing. I didn't do that because I kind of felt like it would get too messy with the feathers and things would be sticking in, in places I didn't want them sticking. So I decided to just go ahead and glue the whole thing and before I stuck my feathers on there. So remember, you don't want to cover the holes, but if you want to leave a little bit of excess that covers that first hole, you can. So again, like you did with the front of the shoe, just 
squeeze a little. You don't need to squeeze too tight. You just want to squeeze enough to make sure that everything is secure. Make sure you're able to close and um, strap your heels up the way that they're meant to be worn. This way, if you need to make any adjustments, you can do it now and not when you're getting ready to put them on and go out. So now that your feathers are secure, go back and pick up your scissor and trim off any excess that you may still have. This part was really fun for me. Like I legit felt like Edward Scissorhands. I felt like I was making a masterpiece. So don't get too scissor happy, but if you do, these feathers are really forgiving. Um, I found a little ball spot in my ankle strap and I was able to just get a little piece of extra feather that I did have and glue it right on in there and you couldn't even tell. Now this part can get a little messy if you have maybe a popsicle stick or a toothpick. That'll probably be easier than doing the method that I'm doing now, but I really didn't have that stuff with me so I just made it do what it do, baby. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny because I've been seeing these sandals online from anywhere from $100 to $250 and I made mine for 30 bucks. It's also a really fun way to make over some sandals that you never really wear. So you can get with this or you can get with that. Last but not least, take the stickers off the back of your shoes, ladies. I feel like this is something we forget to do because we get so excited to wear our brand new shoes and we walk around with the tags on the back. So don't forget to take them off. And there you have it, shoes on fleek, shoes on fleek. <laughs> I hope you guys have as much fun as I did making your sandals. Tag me in any of the pics that you post so I can see how your sandals came out. See you guys soon, have fun.